In today's 5-Minute Friday, I wanted to address a common problem that I see in some published systematic reviews, and that is when the authors, well, there are lots of problems with published systematic reviews, but one of them is when the authors say that they limited their search terms to the title field only. I probably see this in maybe one of 50 reviews, and I wanted to show you why that's not okay. And the reason that it's not okay is because it's not sensitive enough and it's too specific for evidence synthesis, which has the goal of finding all available evidence and screening it in a rigorous and methodological way. But if you search with the title only, title field only, um, you're cutting out a lot of relevant literature. Now, I wanted to find an example for you and I did, I found some examples, but I didn't feel good about calling them out or like showing it publicly because they just weren't, um, they just weren't great. So instead what I'm doing is using my own search as an example. This is a search I had done earlier this year and actually I'm gonna make two versions of it because we're going to come back to the correct one later. So this is version two. Let's work with version one right now. So these authors which haven't, who haven't used proper searching techniques also didn't use mesh terms. So let's just get rid of those right off the bat. And here I have the field tag TW, which I've talked about before, is text word. But what these authors are doing, oops, are limiting their searches to the title field only. So where I have TW, they would have title. And so let's now try that. We're going to go to PubMed. And if you did plan to search by field, let me show you where you can do it. You can go into advanced. You can enter any term you like and you can pull down here to a field. So I can pick title, and when I click add, it's going to append that field tag for the title to the end of my search. And now this term will be searched only in the title, 32,913. So let's take the search that I just copied, my own search, where I limit it to title only, and see what we get. And in fact, I've made several mistakes, haven't I? Let's just look through it for other mistakes. Okay, we're good to go. I'll click search. So I get 14 results and it's telling us, didn't find this in the phrase index, no decubus, no pressure, necroses. 14 results really isn't enough to do a systematic review with. Or if it is, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan. So what we're going to do, go back to this search and change this title only to at least title and abstract. So where it says title now, we're going to say title abstract, replace all just here. And again, we'll try this again. So let's look at the differences we're going to get. We're going to clear this out. We don't have to worry about the warning. It doesn't mean anything for us today. And we'll click search. So now instead of title, we're looking in title abstract. Didn't find decubus. I guess it found pressure necroses this time. Interesting. Okay, 263 results. So we're talking in this, in this search about pressure ulcer prevention with patient positioning. That's the search. That's the concepts for this search. So first we had a version with medical subject headings, which will return things that are indexed with medical subject headings. We had keywords in TW. And then we went to title only. Then we went to title abstract. So let's try our version two now. It has not only mesh terms, but also TW instead of TIAB. So it's a little broader. I copied it. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to paste it and we get 301 results. Now, if we go into advanced, 
we can see the progression here. So that was just me showing you how to search by title only, which you can do in some cases, but not for systematic reviews and not for probably most literature reviews because essentially what it says to me is, oh, we didn't want to find too much. We just wanted to find a little bit. So we just searched in the title only. There are very rare cases where you're going to limit your search to the title only. Um, it's been done, but it needs to be the exception and not the rule. So here we have bed sore, pressure ulcer and positioning in the ICU, title only, 14 results. The same search in the title and abstract, 263 results. The same search with mesh terms and broadened out from TIAB, which is title abstract, to text word, which is lit a little bit more inclusive, 301 results. So you can see that that first one missed a lot. The second one missed a little bit. And the third one is broader. If we look at these results, we're going to see, yes, this is about prone positioning for pressure ulcers in the ICU, in critically ill patients. So we are seeing what we want to see and we had to do it with some thought and care and consideration. So that's my encouragement to you when searching. Of course, you can always work with someone like a librarian or an information specialist, but if you're choosing to search on your own, whether it's for a review or not, you should at least understand what's happening behind the scenes and when you can go narrow and when it's appropriate to be much broader. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.